All right, welcome back to the Wrestling Roundtable, and we were just talking about someone who became a big star in WCW, and now we're going to talk a little bit about WCW towards the end in and of itself. Um, to my mind, there were three things, and a lot of people always, the people have written books about what led to the downfall of WCW. Yeah. In my mind, it's three key things. Obviously, the most important and the final nail in their coffin was uh, Jamie Kellner at TBS saying no more wrestling yeah. on Turner Networks. That yeah. was it. Well, that's a tangible uh, thing. Yeah. But uh, the two other factors to me were um, the merger with AOL Time Warner obviously set in this uh, uh, boulder, this snowball into motion yeah. uh, way back in the, the mid-90s. Kind of tangible. And um, the other thing is a lot of people, and W. Sophie's reputation is that it didn't make stars, which we were big WCW. Wait, fans. Eric, you, yeah. you don't think the finger poke of doom put WCW out of business? That, like all bullshit. those smart people on the oh, internet? Oh, come on. Yeah, that's Kevin Nash and Hulk Hogan, they really did it. They killed the whole, yeah, right. That, that's sure. the biggest bunch of bullshit. Now, really, angle, to, 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 to us, me. Yeah. to the, the real fans, <laughs> WCW did make a lot of stars. We know that. We look at guys like Lance Storm, who came up in ECW. A lot of people think ECW, ECW. Bullshit. Lance Storm was a much bigger star in WCW. Yeah, oh, they, they really pushed him over the and top. And a lot of the guys time. that ended up in WWF probably only ended up there because they were stars in WCW first. <laughs> Benoit, Guerrero, Jericho, Giant, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Well, yeah, um, but I think it only goes to a certain level where I think 98 is a real key year in wrestling history. <laughs> um, that was the, the time to start pushing these guys from the mid-card where they were stars like Jericho to the next level, up to the, the place where the Hogans and the Savages and the Flares, Bretts, Hogan. those guys, all the old guys were dancing around on pay-per-view main events forever when the mid-card was going crazy for Dean Malenko and Booker T, those sort of guys. Yeah. And when they missed that opportunity in that year, it was kind of all downhill from there yeah, because that was by, the time, effect, by yeah. the time guys like Scott Steiner and Booker T and Jarrett were given that spot, the fans had already left. Yeah, you, well, you can't. I, I, you can't blame WCW for that. I mean, you can't. Well, 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 what do you think caused it? Um, so, wait, are you kind of trying to say that Steiner and Booker T were only stars in WCW land? To a because point. Because WCW land was such a small pond. No, at that no, time it was a know? big no. pond. That's a big. No, no, I'm talking about that in like 2099. Oh, in 2000. Sure. In other words, it didn't matter that they were yeah, big right. stars. It was too yes. late. I'll so give you an example. In other words, it doesn't really count like DDP or Goldberg counts. Yeah, yeah. Because it was too late. I'll give you an example. I agree when with that. Russo came in, Not at all. he started pushing Bret Hart and Benoit and those sort of guys, Jarrett, yeah. into the main event spot where they never were before. In WCW, right? Yeah, in right. late '99, yeah. when Russo got the the boot in January, Kevin Sullivan comes back in and starts throwing Luger, Luger and Flair, Flair and, and Hogan, Hogan in those same spots, on totally undoing the work. I like hearing his yeah. name in stereo like that. <laughs> Let's well, do it again. One, two, three. Hogan. Hogan. <laughs> Well, do you see what I'm trying to say? You said you didn't agree with it at all. I just think a star is a star. You know, WF brought Booker T and Steiner in and um, Paige, who I mentioned already, and those guys got huge star pops from the WWF fans because they were stars. And Booker T was made, so to speak, during the period after 98, when things were too far gone, which I never thought they were. It was too far gone when they said no more TV. Now, they weren't competing with WWF, but they were a viable business. How do I know this? Because TNA is on the air still, you know? TNA is so, the only thing left. I will disagree. If you got this. TV, you got a TV show. <laughs> you got a business. Well, to, to make Lawrence's TV, point for him, to compare rating wise, yeah. TNA isn't even doing half of, of what Nitro was doing yeah, in the last Nitro was a success. Not even ECW. Nitro was right. a success. The only, Nitro got killed by the uh, just the amount of. of um, I guess it would be red ink that those huge salaries and guarantees. They weren't losing a lot of money. Yeah, yeah but if they were losing money because of because of because they still depended it. on those big they names that were made they years ago. They could have never competed with the WWF, but still been a very successful business in their own right. I think that you know the stars like uh, Booker T, Dean Malenko, all the main card guys that Evan wanted to see main event, they should have had him in the main event a lot earlier. So that way, when the stars, the Hogan Savages. When they do, you know, leave and Nash is yeah, in the Yeah, they can elevate those guys, yeah. obviously. But because it was so obvious, I think even to the casual fans, that because these guys were on top, is because the other all the other stars were gone. Yeah. So it was a little That's hard a to point. buy Jeff Jarrett, you know, so in other words, if, 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 if they had put over 
If they put Booker T over Hogan, then then it counts. Then it yeah. counts. Yeah. So then if you say this like, guy's a star, that's a great point. So in other words, if they're just gone and now these are the stars, these Hello. are the stars. Yeah, but, they, but they did. I mean, they did. There were people that were stars that um, those guys got elevated over. A Booker T and Jarrett really didn't get to beat anyone. For every Goldberg beating Hogan in 98, there should have been five more. Oh, there should have been five yeah. more. Everyone but they did wanted make, to see I DDP mean, do the same thing. I mean, I, mean, I, I love WCW argue. as much as you do, but they were losing a lot of money. Like, having a hard time getting by that time, Like, Conan was a pretty huge star for them. Like oh, He was, uh, Road and, but they didn't and, go. Yeah, but they didn't, but he was still a huge star, so I don't know if that's necessarily... If you have to go over somebody to be a star. Goldberg never beat anybody and he was a star before he beat no, any of the guys. No, no, no. He was a huge star before he beat Hogan. He, when Goldberg, the way they groomed Goldberg, the reason why I think, or me as a fan, because you know, he never saw, you know? yeah, know. he was, you know, this this big, huge Jericho guy, and see him money before. through people yeah. in a matter of <laughs> minutes, having these minute matches, that's something as a wrestling but he, fan but he never saw before. He was a star before he pinned Raven and, and Oh, Raven. yeah. So that kind of goes against Yeah, but it, they, 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 they groomed him in a unique way, so he didn't have to. It's, so he didn't so have about to Conan, people had Conan. Right? But he, okay, but can, they knew can I make he was an on his way. Point. Maybe you don't have to beat guys. Maybe you just have to be with them, rubbing elbows. Once Conan was in that group with Sting and Luger and Nash, it was like, oh, so Conan's one of these guys. No, I, don't I don't think, think it's so. I think the fans think perceived so. them. Well, obviously, I, don't I mean, know, to how big of a star would Austin be if he never beat Shawn Michaels, and if Austin still to this day never won a world title? Oh, he probably sees another exception. People loved him. Man. Yeah, he but that again, he was a star since he McMahon. You know, let's look at McMahon. Just the fact that McMahon wanted uh, he lost the to belt Brett. off. He I, lost to Brett. But that here, made here, him a can star. We, can we, can we make Brett's a compromise? A you, sorry, you don't necessarily have to beat the guy, but you have, like, Austin didn't beat Brett. Never he was but. made a star yeah. in be having that match on that stage. If Malenko, who, you know, maybe Saturn's a better example, because he was kind of on his way, had fought, uh, I don't know. Not, not necessarily like a like Luger or something, and had a a decent pay per view match with a decent build up at a pretty big show like Super Brawl or something. Uh, even if he kind of lost, um, just the idea that he was in a feud with that guy and not a one out Thunder match like tonight it's Dean Malenko and and Chris Benoit versus Rick Steiner and Sid and they're gonna get killed. If he had something that was looked and perceived as being legitimate, whether he lost or not, that might have been an opportunity to make a star. Well, let's because they made Austin a star without having. Let's to look at it friend. this way. I think it's a matter of not pulling the trigger because Shelton Benjamin did the same thing in 2004. When yeah. he went over on Raw, beat Triple H, they had the opportunity there to continue with it. Exactly. And bring him to the next level and just... Uh, and they stopped at Orton. Well, when he, when he, beat, he beat Flair at the next pay-per-view, all right? So then he's like, all right, so he's groomed for his Intercontinental title run. And then he loses to Orton. And mm -hmm. I think from there, it's just been yeah, down They undid it. They, they undid it. And just imagine if Austin, if it took, if he didn't beat Sean at WrestleMania 14 and he's still chasing the title, I think his stardom would have dropped a little bit because they're like, no. the fans would know that, all right, you know, this is enough. He needs to win the world title now. Austin like, was yeah. out injured yeah. and the fans were going to the show just to be. Because he was doing, you know, unique things. Well, he, kept he, him was feud, he was feuding with the owner of the company. Okay, no, which he no was one else was. Yes, yeah, so, but, you know? but then, but then nothing again. Nothing to do with the match. Nothing to do with I the I think match. it's really conditional. Just a I, don't, I don't mean that every single person had to beat Hogan for the belt. Yeah. I just mean that they need to be put in prominent positions. They don't have like to beat that. the guy necessarily. Though. Right. As long as they're considered they're, on that level. put on a great match. Yeah. Because Austin Fair and enough. Brett, because Austin was made a star, so, because that was such a great match. And because of the double turn and how that went. Because Booker never had that opportunity. Because he was a TV champ and never actually got right. to beat a the, Scott the night he won the belt, the, the, the night he won the belt in uh, Bash Jarrett. at the Beach 2000, mm -hmm. if Hogan, if they hadn't done the angle where Hogan and Jarrett and all that crap, what if it was just Booker and Hogan? Then Booker going been, over would have been yeah. pretty big. It would have been very big. It would have been very big. Yeah, probably would have been much, the whole thing would have been much more memorable and... Who knows? Yeah, the what ifs in wrestling. Well, maybe we'll talk about some more what ifs when we come back from our break. Stay tuned, more Wrestling Roundtable when we come back.